Hi, I am Stephanie Meisen. I'm a dietitian here at the U.S. Olympic Training Center, and today I'm here with Sophie Herzog, one of our resident athletes. Hi, I'm Sophie Herzog. I'm a Paralympic swimmer. This is Team USA Insider, presented by Nabisco, and today we're going to be cutting some intimidating fruits. These are some fruits that I know kind of intimidating sometimes, to be able to cut, but I want to show you how to cut them in easy ways that you feel comfortable with. So with the mango, um, it's gonna be longer in one direction when you look at it from the top, and that is the direction that the seed is running. So we wanna cut right on the outside of that. Cut like this, and you're cutting around the seed that way, and you can feel if you're gonna cut into it. And there's lots of different ways to cut mangoes, and I'm gonna show you my favorite way to do it. Take a glass, and you want a glass that has a pretty thin rim because it's gonna kind of act as like a knife in a way. Take the mango in your palm and then you wanna run the glass like right where the flesh meets green. the skin. Mm -hmm, the green part to the yellow part and just press it down. What do you wanna cut next? We're gonna go expertise level and do the <laughs> dragon fruit. So cut it lengthwise all the way down. So even though the skin is like this really pretty color, we unfortunately can't eat it. So what we're gonna do is use the spoon and like scoop it out. It's kind of like kiwi-esque with these little black seeds, I feel like. You can slice it into like thin slices again, or you can do like little cubes or chunks. Just depends on like how you want to eat it. So with a pineapple, when you're buying it in the store, what you want to look for is one that's like pretty yellow on the outside. Um, also, it should smell like a pineapple, like really fragrant and good. That's a good sign. So we are going to cut off the bottom and the top. So now we're going to turn the pineapple on one of the flat sides. You want to take the knife and kind of go along the natural curve of the fruit to remove the skin. So you compete in the Paralympics. How is that? It's incredible. Um, so the Paralympics are parallel to the Olympics and it's for athletes with physical disabilities. So like mm -hmm. myself with dwarfism and they're run 10 days right after the games. Mm -hmm. Same city, same venue and uh, Rio had a really good showing for all the audience. It was incredible. The, the stands in the swimming venue were just vibrating. So oh, that's so it's cool. great. What we're gonna do is cut directly down through the core. We're gonna cut down right through the core again to make quarters. Take the pineapple and put it down on one of the flat ends. Take your knife and go kind of like on an angle and then cut like, yeah, so kind of like a triangle of the core out. And then after you have all of your pieces with the core out, you can cut them into chunks, into slices. It's up to you how you want to eat it. So after we cut all these fruits, what did you think? It wasn't as intimidating as I thought when I first walked in today. <laughs> yeah. It was a lot easier. I feel, I feel confident. Thanks for tuning in to Team USA Insider. For more about me and my teammates, head on over to teamusa.org.